Chair, I'm gonna call the meeting to order. And um, Adrian, could you do roll call? Nyag Johnson here. Ball Yang here. Fishler Hayes present. Okay, we have a quorum. Um, and Anne Marie volunteered to read the land acknowledgement. We are gathered here on the lands that were originally home to the Menominee and Ho-Chunk nations. We honor the Menominee and Ho-Chunk communities and are grateful for their stewardship of the land and waters. We acknowledge these ancestral grounds as sacred and remember the complex history of sett settler colonialism on these lands and the effects that persist today. We commit to a restorative and healing relationship of the original inhabitants and our community. Thank you. Did, would anyone like to do the mission yeah, statement? I can do that. Me will, okay. The mission of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion D Committee is to create a more welcoming, connected, and equitable Ashkash by consciously including the richness and complexities of marginalized voices in its planning and function. Wonderful, thank you, me. All right, um, the next agenda item is to approve the minutes from April 24th, 2023. Do I have a motion? I will move to approve. Or second. Accept. And a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Okay, thank you. All right, we do not have any citizen statements um, scheduled today, nor do we have anyone registered for public comment. So um, the next thing on the agenda is I just wanted to kind of give an update of what's been happening with boards and commissions. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Lakeisha can certainly um, add to this as well. Um, I know a couple of months ago I sent to you the report of the recommended changes to boards and commissions. The new recommended structure was five members with two alternates. Um, ultimately, the DEI committee um, went to that um, structure. That was approved um, within the last month, um, you know, so a little bit after the overall recommend recommendations were adopted by council. So with those changes, um, going to, to five regular members um, with up to two alternates, obviously we've had a lot of change in who is on the committee. Um, no new members at this time, um, except the structure also changed to include the council liaison as a voting member. So Lakeisha is now one of the five um, members um, rather than just the, not just, <laughs> rather than just the council liaison. So um, does anyone have any questions about about the, the changes in the structure? Glad to have you back, Lakeisha, as a voting member. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so glad to be right, back. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, was it maybe one meeting you weren't a voting yeah. member? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know if you have anything else you just want to add it at all, Lakeisha, about the... No? no, I think that sums it up. Okay, wonderful. So, so who are the members with both first and last names? Um, Juliana Benayeg, uh, Anne-Marie Johnson, Saida Egal, uh, Mi Yang, um, and Lakeisha Hayes are the five members, and Alex Pischler is an alternate. We uh, do have an alternate vacancy right now. Yeah. Okay, all can right. I just, um, can I just ask something? Yeah. Um, I know that when I came on, I was put on the committee um, because I'm not from Oshkosh. Legally, I'm from the town of Ogoma. So where do I stand in terms of that? Has that been changed? That's a great question. I didn't think to address that, but we did not change um, the allowance of up to two members outside of the city of Oshkosh. Okay. So there are still up to two members could be from outside the city. Okay, so five, two of the five. Two of the seven. Yeah, two of, of the, the seven, seven, I would say. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't very specific okay. in the ordinance, but okay. it just said up to two members. Okay, okay. So you're good. 
Okay. I <laughs> just want to make sure. <laughs> I'm glad you're willing since you work so much here. Yeah. In Oshkosh with what you do. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. Any other questions? I, I yeah, want, want everyone to be able to ask their questions. So every year at this time, we do uh, a reorganization meeting after basically the reappointments in May. Um, so we do need to do a reorganization meeting to elect a chair and vice chair. Um, so included in your little packet is just kind of a, a summary of how we do that. Um, so I am going to run the election if that works for everyone. Um, so we do need to elect a chairperson. I'll call for nominations three times and then we will have a motion to close nominations and vote. So at this time I call for nominations for chair. Can you explain exactly what the duties of the chair are? Sure. Uh, the duties of the chair are to run the meeting. And generally, the chairperson works with me, the staff liaison, to put the agenda together and um, kind of receive um, items from the rest of the committee to, to talk about or to engage um, in the meetings. So the chair generally spends about an hour with me um, about two weeks prior to the meeting and we go through the agenda and everything they usually take a look at the minutes ahead of time make sure they don't see anything before we present it to the full committee um and i that's that's basically it anything else you can think of lakeisha yeah. okay <laughs> so the um me, i think it has to be you or me <laughs> I think it I can be any I member. I love Keisha for it. I don't think. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. I don't think I can. I, I don't know. It's not gonna happen. I don't think that I can. You can. You don't have to. Don't I'm saying you can. No, I actually didn't think. That I did check. Was the city. <laughs> okay. Because okay. this was new for me as well. But mm -hmm. a council member could be the chair. But um, I. Not saying they should be. If, if you're willing to be the chair, I would be willing to be the vice chair. <laughs> hey, we can't it. negotiate. <laughs> um, we we need to we need to see if we have any nominations for chair. <laughs> Do we have any nominations for chair? I nominated Lakeisha. Okay. I will. Um, any additional nominations for chair? Third and final time, any other nominations for chair? If there's, well, so at this time, I'll entertain a motion to close nominations and elect uh, Lakeisha Hayes as chair uh, by calling a vote all in favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oops, I'm sorry. First, oh. I gotta get a motion. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would I anyone like move. to make a motion? Thank I you. Move. All right. Um, uh, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Lakeisha is our new chair. I'm I'll just. To serve. <laughs> I'll continue and do the, uh, the vice chair as Thanks. well. So um, I'm calling nominations for vice chair at this time. Uh, any nominations for vice chair? I nominate Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Any other nominations for vice chair? Third and final time, any other nominations for vice chair? Okay, do I have a motion to close nominations and elect Anne Marie as vice, vice chair? So moved. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, and I look forward to meeting with you. And I will mention now that it's over. Um, I also invite the vice chair to those monthly meetings okay. to, to go through <clears throat> the right. agenda as well. Um, it's not obviously required that everybody comes to it. And, you know, if 
if time is difficult, we've also just done mm -hmm. um, phone calls, virtual, back and right. forth emails, but it's, it is nice if we can actually talk mm -hmm. right. a little bit. So thank you both. Thank you all. You're welcome. All right. So with that, technically, it, it, I turn it over to Lakeisha. Um, but I'm kind of going to lead this discussion anyway. So okay. DEI plan <laughs> discussion, including action items. Um, so one of the things that we did is a survey a while back of all of the members and what they would like to potentially focus on. Um, since then, obviously, our committee has changed a little bit and I don't know if the committee wants to discuss if it is reasonable to try to focus on all these areas <laughs> at the same time with only five, five members um, and an alternate or two. So um, I'm certainly open to discussion on you know where, where you guys would like to go with this. This is the results of the survey. Any thoughts? Uh, I definitely don't think we can't do them all with only five. Um, but how to choose amongst all of them. I think the very last one on the page, engaging people to share at our meetings, is certainly an easy one. Um, right. The rest of them will be much, will are more complicated. So choosing amongst them, I don't know how we do that. Absolutely. I mean, I and we definitely um, can engage other local organizations to share. I think the key there is generating the ideas mm -hmm. to reach out. Mm -hmm. Who can we reach out to? And I'm always happy to do those reach outs yeah. and explain to people why we'd like to invite them to the DEI meeting, mm -hmm. um, to share what's going on right. with them, um, to better educate uh, us and the public whatever um, you know we we would like to have them do so. obviously right now we are participating in the um, a DEI related event yes. um, so and that is something that and if you want to keep that one up there hi we we haven't officially committed to <coughs> continuing it because you just can't until after one is one is done but um, I know I've said that I would want to keep working on it and the others have commented on that so right I would so for at least the next two months because the event is in September that is certainly on on our agenda because I'm involved in planning it and the city is one of the co Sponsors. I wasn't yep. sure of the wording we were yep. using. Yes, mm -hmm. co-sponsoring those. Right. Dragon so I would say we are currently doing that, and mm -hmm. I think then maybe in October-ish, um, we could actually invite that committee in potentially oh, yes. and kind of do a how did it go, what mm -hmm. was you know what went well, maybe what right. could we do differently, well we do and then goals? we could kind of talk as a committee about how do we want to get involved potentially for future yes. events, either that one or a different one. Would that make sense? Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And okay. we, we have goals. Um, I don't remember what they are at the top of my head, but we had like three or four things that we could measure in about who comes, who's involved in the marketplace and, and so on. Um, and we could certainly report on those specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think as well so. as more subjective commentary on it right okay and then maybe uh, maybe we let everyone digest and uh, maybe put on the agenda for next month to you know do we want to vote on a a priority amongst mm -hmm. the others. Um, not, not saying we're not going to eventually do all of them, but do we prioritize and, and you know, work on three or four at most, considering the, um, right. per, you know, the amount of people we have participating. And prioritizing one of them would also help us with the community engagement piece. For example, if we chose housing, bringing in the the group that's making the tiny 
houses, the day by day warming shelter, mm-hmm. um, the housing authority, and yeah. hearing from them what are the issues they're dealing with, what can we do to help with the city. Um, so I think you know, choosing one will help guide some of the other ones as well as other things that we can talk about mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at our meetings. Seems like people are pretty agreeable to that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Any other thoughts on going forward? But do we want to look at just the barrier ones or also including a community engagement? Well, I feel the like community engagement, I'm thinking we should do one of the, the three barriers that we've identified. Okay. And that would also help narrow it down. We only have to choose amongst three things instead of right. five. Well, we are doing two of the community engagement right. ones. Um, so maybe a third one being a barrier mm-hmm. or an outreach might make sense. I mean, because if you look at it, we have a community outreach one, th- three barriers, and mm-hmm. three community engagements. Mm-hmm. And with the DEI event and the engaging lo- you know, other organizations to come to our meetings, that would be two engagements already. Mm-hmm. So, um, so maybe, yeah, we, uh, I'll plan on, and I know I generally leave time at the end of the meeting to talk about future agenda items anyway, mm-hmm. but maybe um, I can plan on that being kind of a, a plan on a vote to pick a priority mm-hmm. um, in addition to the two we're really kind of saying. I mean, we could officially pick all of the priorities, mm-hmm. but two of them I think we're mm-hmm. pretty active in right now. Okay. So that's really all I had for the DEI plan for today. Okay. Um, which actually gets us all the way to committee member roundtable. Me? So, so does you anyone, <laughs> yeah, tell us, me, tell us about your event that you well. completed and then the event that's coming up. Well, the uh, Memorial Day uh, Weekend Festival uh, went really well, um, as always. Um, We had a great turnout. Uh, I'm glad to see that we uh, have been on the improving side after COVID. Um, Yeah, so uh, it it was great, and and, and I'm glad it was over. (laughs) So um, with the Labor Day coming up, that one is usually bigger than the um, Memorial Day uh, Festival. Uh, what what we do differently this time is that we well we always had a a team pageant um, mm-hmm. where we um, recruit um, girls between the age of 13 and it used to be like 13 to 17 now we increased to 19 um, so that we could include more participants uh, something that we did this year that we did not do before was we offer um, a $500 um, education scholarship for every contestant who participate. Oh, every? Yep, wow. every contestant. So we maxed that at 10 com- mm-hmm. contestants, but we offer um, $500 on top of the um, three prizes that we usually offer. So uh, we felt that um, that we need to do something that would be more attractive, and not only that, um, um, financially support um, those contestants toward their education. So I think that worked out really well. Uh, we'll see how it plays out, but um, everybody seemed to really be supportive of that idea. Have you closed the window for contestants yet, or is that still? Uh, I, I don't believe so. I think, I'm not mistaken, but I don't know if I'm, if that's still going on, but I know that we did a couple of virtual sessions where um, girls could sign up for that. And I don't know if that's still happening. Or, uh, I have to talk to the coordinator on that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I, or if there's a place people could go for information? No, actually, they could. Um, the teen pageant had, actually had a website that people could just come on to it and then, and then have all the information that they need to. If they need to talk to uh, the coordinator, they could always just contact for more information on that. 
So, and I'm l really looking forward to um, many more sports teams for this Labor Day. Um, my my volleyball corners that I usually had him in the past. When I had him, there were so many teams. I, I don't know if they like him or something, but um, he's he, uh, he came back for Labor Day, um, which I didn't think he was going to, but he came back and um, upon the request of many teams. Um, so I'm really hoping that we are going to have a lot more teams than we had during the uh, Memorial Day weekend festival. So. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> wonderful. Yep, just a little bit over a month to go. It's mm -hmm. um, there's a lot to plan for. So it's you know with the two annual events just like three months apart, it's um, it's always hard to plan for the second one. But yeah. mm -hmm. but we we managed through for the last seven eight years. <laughs> so <laughs> oh yeah. So you. If people are looking for more information about your event, is there a particular place they can find it? Well, we, we have our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, but Among Center Facebook page? Yep. We have that. And for direct contact, I usually take all the questions for the general, um, general information for the event. Uh, for any particular sports or activities, um, they can always contact the um, coordinators for that. And all our names and contact information are on the flyer so yep Wonderful. and the flyer is on our facebook page okay. yeah great thank you anybody have any other activities or events they'd like to share mine will be at the next is <laughs> Yeah. Well, I actually, why don't you share about the event now, and then we can talk about uh, the update okay. in the next section. Uh, so the Northeast Wisconsin Dragon Boat Festival is happening on the 16th of September at the Leach Amphitheater, sponsored by the city, supported by the DEI committee, um, and also sponsored by Northeast Wisconsin Chinese Association. Um, any uh, proceeds from the event will support both NUCA and the Oshkosh Area School District uh, Foundation Cultural, specifically set aside for cultural programming at the schools. We are seeking paddling teams, um, who, and they can register under youth um, club teams, so official teams that are out there that race competitively, um, community teams, and corporate sponsored teams. Community teams can include city and governmental police firefighters um the, and other nonprofit organizations so if the long service center wanted to put a team together um special olympics the um the teams from uh, the university all those would be welcome under the community community teams um, we're also seeking um, vendors including food vendors there's space for some food trucks as well as other types of food vendors um, and other um, others to vend at the global market um, and for the affinity fair we're seeking nonprofit organizations in the community that um, have a wide um, outreach to the community um, we can be found on Facebook at the Northeast Wisconsin Dragon Boat Festival, or our website is newdragonboat.com. All right, wonderful. Thank there you. There will also be cultural performances on the stage. <laughs> I forgot about That's that. Good. Awesome. And is that pretty much all day? Do the ra dragon yes. boat races start um, in the morning, yeah. or how does that all the, work for uh, those who want to come watch the dragon boats? Yeah. The first dragon boat race um, will start at 9 a.m. Teams have to come sooner than that. Um, there will be an opening ceremony at 10 o'clock. Um, we hope to have that including um, a Chinese dragon and lion um, in that. Um, and then uh, the awards ceremony will be somewhere between 4 and 4.30, and then there'll be a closing ceremony we expect at 5. So it's, it's a one-day event, right? Yes, okay. one day. Can you email that to well, me? Well, we have. Or I'd like you, to share that on our yeah, we, Facebook page. Oh, oh, I was going to say, we printed so, in black and okay. white our apologies. Yeah. Um, and if you go to the Facebook page, there's lots of okay. um, notifications that you can use to okay. um, share 
on Facebook and, and we have all you, the links yeah. for registration and vendors and such. Yeah, we'll make sure we share that again on the mm-hmm. DEI um, Facebook page as well. Yes. We've been sharing updates as we see them, but we'll we'll be sharing more. And you can message us either from, through the website or Facebook, or if you know any of us on the planning committee, okay. feel free to ask us personally as well. All right. Any other activities or events anyone wants to bring, mention? Okay. So um, on our outstanding items list is the update on the Chief Oshkosh statue. I am pleased to announce that that has been, um, there was a, an event and the, all of the, um, <laughs> were all of the, Plaques. Plaques, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, I, I cannot come up with a word right <laughs> now. After all, the all plaques, these years. I know. I'm talking um, about the plaques. <laughs> right. You know, that really tell the story of Chief Oshkosh and the Menominee. So they are out um, surrounding the statue, um, and it, it was a beautiful event. Yes, it was. Um, you know, even uh, the Governor Evers came, um, so it was definitely uh, were you there? very well Listen. attended. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were there too. We had a picture <laughs> right, right. with the Governor, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were there too. <laughs> so um, I will be taking, <laughs> uh, yeah. I will take it off of our outstanding <laughs> items because I think we are officially finished with that project. Yes. Um, and I think it turned out beautifully. So that's a, a wonderful success story there. Um, update on the event, if you want to talk a little bit more about the behind the scenes stuff of the event, um, you kind of talked about all of the... Right. Um, so again, the organizing committee and Angie, who used to be on the DI committee, and I are both on it, as well as um, two members of NUCA, Lindsay Yang and Fanny, I don't remember Fanny's last name, but she's the president of NUCA, um, Greta Lax, who does DEI work as well, and Irene, and again, I'm sorry, I don't remember her last name. I wasn't expecting to give oh, this sorry. much. So I was like, oh, I didn't think of writing all these these names down. Um, um, a local woman and veteran-owned business, Whimsical Productions. Um, Jessica Williams is helping us out with some of the vendor items and things like um, all the tents that have to be rented uh, for all the things that we're going to be doing. And she's helping us to organize our vendors when they're there because she's done that sort of thing before. Um, there and will I be, guess there will yeah. be an update tomorrow um, at the city council meeting, um, and Angie's been working on the sponsorships and such. So I don't know. Do you guys still need come- sponsorship? I, oh, you- absolutely. <laughs> we are looking for donations and sponsorships okay. in any amount. Okay. How do we do that? Um, by contacting Angie Lee. Angie. Hi, Angie. <laughs> okay. I, I was just trying to remember if we had a sponsorship form, and I honestly can't remember because we have for so many pieces here but if you contact Angie, Angie she can give you all the details okay um, and at high sponsorship levels um, a free drive and one to four free entries to the dragon boat race are included good um, so yes and then tomorrow it is back on council agenda to talk about the utilization of the unity and community mm-hmm. funds so just FYI for everyone, and um, I believe uh, Angie plans Angie on attending just, that meeting. Yep, Angie will be there to answer questions. I'm there in support. I plan to be there. Yep. Do you know what time we're expected to? Like we're at the beginning of the agenda, end of the agenda, do you know? Oh, you're I not the agenda person for the city council, so no, never mind. Or you told me that at the beginning. <laughs> never mind. Because let's realize I didn't. Look it up. You didn't think to ask Angie. It'll happen fairly soon. Like the like consent agenda items, and then we pretty much get into those. Okay. And I, I can look things. it up online. I just hadn't thought about it. <laughs> yeah. So I would say about um, six fifteen, six twenty. Not quickly. The meeting starts at six, right? Make sure I'm we're here on time. It starts at six, and some things just go really. Yeah. Quickly. Great. Especially yeah. consent agenda and such. It's, it's, just, it's yeah. pretty quick. Um, I was just going to see if I could bring it up. Uh, I think it's, 
family delay may be the comments, if the, depending on how many comments we have. Quickly look at where it is. It's like number after consent. But like Lakeisha said, things can go very quickly. Um, so you, I would definitely plan on being there the beginning or toward the beginning yeah, actually it's further down but um, yeah the items before it don't take very long. okay right thank you so nope. you don't miss it I would just oh yeah we're planning on being here for the beginning yeah. but, um, all right anything else you want to no good all right well, and of course, we can give another update next month. Remind everybody of the upcoming event in September. So we'll have another meeting before then. So um, other upcoming events for council. Um, we're going into our budget workshop time of the year. So uh, the first budget workshop, I believe, is June 28th. Or no, it was June 28th. Um, and... Uh, there will be many more budget meetings uh, coming as well. So I don't think I have the full day ones. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I know they're coming. I just, they're not on the, the notes yet. But other than that, um, I don't think we really have any other future agenda items for council that I'm privy to. Okay. So. All right, so future agenda items. Should we come up with somebody to invite to present to us next week, next month? You look like you're thinking of something. I am thinking, I'm sure but it, I it. will need to, I need time to actually come up with a couple organizations because I was actually thinking that when we were talking about you know listing or prioritizing mm -hmm. those goals right. um, but I think if we all were able to just kind of jot down possible organizations and go from there that would be good um, too. Right, I think you... I can think of a handful that may be willing to come in and speak sorry I didn't realize I wasn't um, think of a couple organizations that may be able to come in and speak um, and that way they have options for which month. Um, I'm sure I can come up with some. And again, if you come up with names and a contact person, I'm happy to do the legwork. Right. Um, and I can, you know, look at, again, booking people out a few months. Honestly, I'd love to be able to book people, you know, for mm -hmm. the remainder of the calendar year if I could. Right. And then know we have them all lined up. Um, and give people plenty of notice that we'd mm -hmm. like them to come, mm -hmm. come and uh, share things with us in the public. Right. So. Right. Any other future agenda items? We'll continue, obviously, with the plan development, as I just mm -hmm. mentioned earlier. And again, if you do have any recommendations for the agenda, send them to the chair and myself. Um, and then we, of course, I, I work on the agenda, uh, share that with the chair and vice chair, and then um, try to get that all locked in so that we can get the agendas out to the rest of the uh, committee. Great. Do we have a motion to adjourn? <laughs> I'll move to adjourn. Second. Had to let you get the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.